went through wife's phone as I had a suspicion. And I was right. It's my birthday too by the way. I never thought I'd be posting here, but here I am. My wife always played off to friends and family that we don't go through each other's phones because of trust. What a crock of crap that was. She came home last night drunk as hell around 10 p.m. and passed smooth the hell out. I had been growing suspicious lately because she'd been walking from the bedroom to the bathroom and vice versa naked a lot more than usual. That in itself isn't unusual, but she was also avoiding me and giving me strange looks while doing so. I knew that when she passes out while hammered, she will not wake up on her own for hours. I took the opportunity to say screw it and scratch this itch that's been intensifying. So I grabbed her phone out of her purse. I unlocked it and went straight to Snapchat. Okay she's been talking to some guy. But still no evidence. Then I went to her messages to see she's been texting her dad this was her stepfather from the time she was too straight into her teenage years. He's been known to want nudes from her for money and she has obliged. But that was all before I met her. Well all messages were deleted until 1.24 pm that day on until 10 pm. Well at 1.24 pm her dad sent a message that said damn. Looks like it's ready for junior. Then she sent a message saying yes it is. To which he responded. Well I'm gonna have to go rub one out. WTF. The rest of the messages were her drunk asking for money because she got stuck with a 300 tab at the unofficial holiday party. This seemed off so I went to her pictures. Nothing. Until I went to deleted pictures. I saw a picture of her on our couch I was just in the other room. Flashing her kitten at 1.22 pm. Say it's not so. Say this didn't happen. Only to realize. It's worse. I saw multiple explicit pictures of her taken basically every day for the last 30 days the deleted file only holds pictures for 30 days. Keep in mind. I haven't received pictures from her in months and when I did. They were never as explicit as these pictures. Then I saw two nudes of a guy our age who lives in our town as well as two nudes of her taken around the same time frame. I knew his girlfriend. But not him so I immediately messaged his girlfriend his pictures and told her what happened. I took pictures on my phone of everything. And I mean everything so I went to confront my wife with her phone. She was so incoherent and just denying everything. But while she was denying, she was also deleting the evidence off of her phone. I left our house and walked to my mom's house which is on the same property. I spent my time playing with our 3 year old daughter worrying about what was gonna happen until I get a text from my wife at 2 am just after my daughter went to sleep yes my daughter has a messed up sleeping schedule and yes we're trying to rectify it. Also, my wife barely has anything to do with our daughter because of work. But even when she's there she doesn't really spend time with her saying we need to talk. I went home with nothing but divorce on my mind. She begged and pleaded with me saying that she's turning into her mother who is bipolar and a few other mental disorders. I've noticed my wife slowly having the same problems but not nearly as bad. Her mom was also a messed up parent and really did mess my wife up in the head as well. Although she was good at hiding it most of the time, she said that she just liked the attention and that it was nothing but pictures. She began calling herself names, crying, begging me not to leave her. I don't know if I can trust her on what she's saying or not but nothing besides the weird nakedness had changed and she had still been treating me with all of the love in the world. Yet, if she loved me, why would she be sending nudes to other men? Especially her damn dad. She even told me that she didn't get money for any of it and she was just doing it for attention I treat her like a queen so she gets plenty of attention at home and my ex drive is way higher than hers too. I have to think about my daughter here because if I divorce my wife. She'll probably get the big end of the stick when it comes to custody here in Texas they always seem to side with the mother unless they're on drugs and knowing that she'll probably move in with her mom and her husband which would severely mess up my child. Also I'd like to state that her dad owns her mom husband's house and years ago. He made it an issue that I am not allowed over there under any circumstance because he was jealous and wanted her or he would kick them out. I know for a fact she loves me and I can tell she's genuine in her apology. But I can't say for sure that she won't do it again. I made her block her dad and the duck boy. And made sure she understood that if she ever contacted either of them again or sent nudes to another man. I'm filing for divorce immediately. She thinks I'm giving her another chance I caught her doing similar shady shit like two months into our relationship before we were married. But I'm still on the fence about the whole thing and don't know what to do. My daughter is my main concern here. Also, we both have good jobs so money isn't the issue. I've done nothing, but love her in this whole time. I thought I was getting the same. So here we are at 11 am almost on my birthday by the way and I didn't couldn't go to sleep last, so I'm still up and have been for over 24 hours. I'm not tired either, I just feel like I can't sleep anymore. She didn't sleep either after our talk and I can tell it's really bothering her. Didn't stop her from going to get her hair done though. Happy freaking birthday to me. Sorry for the long post. It's a lot to unwind and there's actually a lot more to this. But I'm not writing a novel here. Wouldn't proof of her infidelity help your case with regards to custody? Just her convo with dad alone is pretty telling about her messed up and parenthood. The picture's two stepdad could be spun into an incestuous home. 
Add that to the fact the lewd conversations, and I can definitely see a home inappropriate for children. This is going to sound harsh, but you need to hear it. You start your post saying you can't believe you're posting here. Really, you've caught your wife cheating two months into marriage. You knew she has an incestuous relationship with her stepdad. You knew she had a history of mental illness. Like how the heck did you think your marriage was going to end? Happily ever after, you've now caught her cheating again. You think she just sends nudes. You actually believe she hasn't slept around on you. I've never seen denial this bad dude. Yes divorce sucks, but being married to a cheater and living a joke life sucks more. If you don't leave her she will never ever respect you. Ever. Dude she is s-sing and probably sleeping with her stepdad. Can you please pull the ripcord on this sham marriage ASAP? What happened to your self-confidence dude? OP. If you're worried about your incestuous wife staying with her, stepdad after you kick her out, then shouldn't you be more worried about her sleeping with him while you're married? They call his penis junior for crying out loud. They are having ex. Have you even told her mother? If you get divorced you can prove that this guy groomed his stepdaughter and is currently having an incestuous relationship with her. I am sure any judge would rule it a dangerous environment for the child and prevent them from being in the same room. Your marriage is over, whether you acknowledge it or mo. Are you going to protect yourself and your child? Her mom knows everything and still keeps him around. I am concerned about your daughter. If the stepfather can convince your wife to send nudes to him, what would stop him from requesting nudes of your daughter and her obliging? I know that this is a very dark thought but I myself have dealt with very disturbed men and unfortunately these things happen. I would hate for your daughter to be dragged into anything as serious as this. You have a little girl. In a few years this stepdad will begin to molest your daughter if he has the opportunity. Think about that. As a woman. I'm telling you. She keeps doing this shit because she is royally ducked up in the head. You're not a shrink. You can't fix her. Don't even try. The more chances you give her, the more she will disrespect you and cheat more. She's not just sending nudes out for attention. She's trolling for X. And she's having X too. Not with you. Keep the screenshots. That stepdad will never have access to your kid with those and a decent lawyer. The cheaters always cheat again. Please get very mad and get the lawyer. Check for STDs and go scorched earth on that piece of shit. And her piece of shit stepdad. Do it for your daughter damn it. Second story. X left me for his co-worker and got her pregnant within two months. Hi so basically I just want to wear out some stuff but also get advice on how to move forward. Trigger warning. I F23 was with my ex M27 for almost 4 years. He worked in retail and I work as a recently graduated lawyer. I suffered a lot of loss in 2020 between losing my nephew to suicide and losing my uncle to COVID as well as our dog passing away. We seemed as strong as ever until around August. The week my nephew passed when I called him crying. He snapped. Told me how he always had suicidal thoughts and could kill himself any time because it is so bad. I hung up. I felt bad because everyone should be free to talk about those feelings, especially to a girlfriend. But it came across as rude and very insensitive that week of all weeks. It wasn't told softly. It was with anger and very harsh. He dumped me three weeks later and said the usual. It's not you it's me. The next day he was out drinking with his co-workers he started working there around April 2020 having a great time while I couldn't keep food down. Within a week they were dating and two weeks later it was FB official. It felt like such a slap in the face because he obviously left me for her if he wasn't already cheating and she was 18. Recently turned 19. He is nearly 30. I was disgusted at being replaced and my self-esteem was at an all-time low. To add to it, everyone seemed so happy for them. Now, one year since the breakup, him and his GF announced pregnancy. Around six months ago, everyone seemed so happy but I was destroyed because I don't know this guy. He hated kids, hated commitment and is dating a young girl who he got pregnant within two three months. How can everything seem so good for him? I have nothing but anger towards him and I pity the girl. Was I not good enough for commitment after four years? Am I just completely insane and should be happy for them? It's been a rough year and I am slowly moving on but I need to know what I am doing wrong and how my self-esteem can be built up again. Edit hi all. To clarify some questions. I have no proof he cheated e I never walked in on him in bed with her however. He, at the very least, emotionally cheated as he had worked with this girl and had her lined up to get Facebook official. Within one month. Dating around 1-2 weeks after the breakup. I just know that it was a scummy thing to do in my opinion. 1 year since the breakup and his GF is now 9 months pregnant 3 months to get her pregnant. I only know my side off course. We haven't spoken since the breakup. I am sure he was unhappy. I am sure he was looking elsewhere but it just felt very cruel and undeserved. If he wanted to end things he could have done it differently he not knocked up a 19 year old. Hi OP. Are you asking what are you doing wrong? Continuing to look in his life. Stop to do it. Move on. Left him behind your back. Go to NC and block him from in all social media platforms. This just gonna hurt you more and more. Focus on yourself. If you like go to the gym or dance classes. New hobbies. 
Cementing that you like to do and open your friendship circle. Third story. My wife and the coach. Too long didn't read I caught my wife having an affair with my son's football coach. I confronted her. Whether now heading for divorce. Sorry for the long post. My wife and I are 33. Married 11 years. We live in a once rural area that is fast becoming a suburb to a medium-sized metro area. Our HS graduating class had a little over 200 kids. Now approaching 500 grads. I grew up on a farm. When I was six my mother just never came home one day. So my dad raised me. I took on my farm duties. In other words I worked hard. Eventually my dad quit farming. He leased his fields to other farmers. He took a factory job. He invested his lease proceeds into buying up more land. Through the Great Recession he acquired many properties. On one of these properties there was a house he gave to me to fix up and start a family. It's in a trust with his other property but we pay all the bills. My wife grew up lower middle class. A great family that always treated me well. They moved to the area while we were in junior high. We dated all through HS and were married once I had a steady job. Before then I did everything to earn a dollar. Need to haul junk out of a barn. Folks would call me. Need your house painted. I can do it. If you get what I mean. We have an 8-yo son. She is some. Now. I am a route driver for a large snack company. I am close to buying my route from the company. I have more than doubled the size by going into every mom and pop store, grocery and gas station and selling as much product as I can. I have a large area because the surrounding area is still rural. My plan is to finish buying the route. Then I can buy another truck. The plan was to have the wife run the second truck. There is projected supercenter grocery merchandise to be built in the next year in my area. If I own the route, it will be mine. If not the company can split my route. So I need to finish buying the route. We have been married since a couple years out of HS. Our marriage hit some rocky spots. I think because I put in long hours. I try to be there but admittedly am not. We have had lots of fun and love our boy with every fiber of ourselves. He is the typical boy. He is now into sports. He played basketball in the winter, baseball this past spring and is now into flag football. So we hit a low spot relationship wise in the spring. My wife and I talked about it and each made promises to do better. Late April through mid June our ex life went off the charts. We could not get enough of each other. To be honest, I may have been getting too much because I was dog tired but still ran my route. My son was playing ball. I never missed a game but I did not hit all his practices. With most youth sports the dads take an active role in the coaching or helping out. I just could not give that commitment. My wife stepped up and helped out when needed. The baseball coach, Ted, is an ex of a very good friend from HS, Mary. She was the smartest kid in school. She went on to college that's where they met. They married and soon had a son who is also eight. Their marriage hit the skids. Mary moved back home three years ago to have help watching the boy, by her parents. Ted moved here two years ago to be close to their son and I think to win Mary back. The mid to end of June we sink back into our rut. We talk again in July. Promise to recommit. We take a vacation. Still the relationship is bumpy. Mid-August comes around the bedroom heats up again. Then, cools after just a couple weeks. September hits and we are in a dead bedroom. I beg my wife to talk but she says nothing is wrong. My son starts playing flag football. He loves it. They practice a couple days a week and play on Saturday. I drop by a practice and see my wife and Ted with a clipboard running the kids through drills. There are a couple dads helping too. I had no idea she was helping. So I mention it when we get home. My son is excited and shouts out she's not helping. She's a coach. It seems when signing the son up she volunteered to be an assistant coach. I think it's great. This seems to consume a ton of time. The wife is constantly texting. Some calls but generally when I'm there it's texting. They go to Ted's place every day after school and he works his son and mine out. He is teaching them how to be better and it really shows as they are the two best players on the team. So their first game comes. I work in the morning and make it to the field for the game. The wife and Ted are side by side giving directions. Someone sets a chair down next to me. It's Mary. We watch the game. About half time she asks if the wife and I are doing okay. I tell her sure. I look over at her and she is staring at me. So I ask what? She said her son came home after being at Ted's. It had been raining so there was no workout. They spent the afternoon playing video games. Her son went to the kitchen to get more juice and saw Ted and the wife kissing. He ran back to the game and told Mary that night at home what he saw. I get up at 4am every day to drive 45 minutes to the warehouse to get my truck. So Monday morning I got up at 3.30am to check her phone. She had changed the password. After a few tries I figured out what it was as she uses like 4 or 5 different ones for everything. There I saw text after text. Some nudes. So I took screenshots of some. Usually I have one day that I spend in town. I sometimes would come home for lunch if I took one. Especially when there was a lot of X going on. I got home and she was not there. I called her but she did not pick up. I drove by Ted's place and her car was there. I finished my route. 
She told me she was at the store. She was sorry she missed me. I told her I was just trying to surprise her. Not a big deal. The next week, on the same day, I again let her know I was coming home for lunch. I was parked down the way from Ted's. How she did not see my big old truck is beyond me. She came running out of Ted's, got in her car and raced home. I followed slowly. When I arrived she was making me a sandwich. We had a nice conversation. Saturday, after the game, I took my son home had him change and took him to my dad's. They were going to fish in the pond and if he wanted he could swim. I went home. Of course, the wife was not there, so I drove to Ted's. Her car was there. I called her. She was kind of annoyed. Then I asked what she was doing at Ted's. It was just silence. Then talking over the game, I told her to put her clothes on and come home. She swore at me and hung up. When she finally did come home, I was sitting at the table. She again swore at me for C accusing her of something. I asked that she sit down. She refuses, getting more agitated by the minute. I told her a little more forcefully to shut up and sit down. Let me say my piece. I had a folder which she asked what was in it. I told her to sit down so I can show her. I started pulling out screenshots of her texts. She went ballistic that I would snoop in her phone. I then pulled out the more incriminating texts. She tried to explain it away. Then I pulled the nudes out. She shut up. I told her we were done. I would give her until the following Sunday to be out. I was going to an attorney. Monday. Take her clothes and personal stuff. We will figure everything out later. She just sobbed. She said how sorry she was. I just asked a question that I saw on and Reddit advice sub what did you think would happen when I found out. She had no answer. I have stayed at my dad's since the weekend. I brought my son back on Sunday so he could catch his bus to school on Monday. I had explained to him mom and dad would not be living together anymore but he would still live in his house. I got home tonight and all her stuff was gone. There was a note that said she would drop my son off after practice. We had agreed she would pick him up after school. She could stay until I got home or I would pick him up at her parents. Hit like. If you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing to our channel.